Hi teachers, Mr. Riedel here. Uh, so I was planning on just sending you a link to a video I found on YouTube about dual monitors and then I realized, oh, I should probably just take a picture of what I do here. And then I realized, oh, I might as well just make a quick video of <laughs> what I do. And I promise it'll be super quick just explaining the basics to what I do here for um, how I run my Zoom meetings, okay? So as you can see, I have three screens. This is my laptop, this is my extended screen, the dual monitor uh, that is connected to, these, to the laptop. And then this is my iPad, which is school issued, and um, all the students have these as well. So um, the main reason I have my iPad is when I join a Zoom meeting, I want to see what they see. And that is how I video myself, okay? So let me show you how this works, okay? So what I did is I, I started this Zoom meeting on my laptop for my advisory class. And so this is the same as this because it is a dual monitor thing. And um, I'll explain that more later. But what I did on my iPad is I joined the same meeting on my iPad. So I'm joining as a participant uh, so I'm going to join with video, and then you just heard the ding ding. That means that um, right here it says Aaron Riedel has entered the waiting room. So I'm going to admit myself. But uh, what I'm going to put up first is I'm going to put up the participants, and I'm going to put up the chat here and here. The participants and the chat are ready to go on the side here, and. So I could see Aaron Riedel is in the waiting room, so I'm going to admit him, and then I will join right here. Okay, so I just admitted myself, and now I'm right here, and it says call using internet audio, so I tap that, and now you hear the echo, which many of you are familiar with if you try to join on two devices. So I go over here, and I tap on the mute button for my laptop, okay? So basically what was happening is it was, I, in the meeting I was um, talking through the computer and talking through the iPad and so it was hearing my voice and it was coming out of the speakers on both devices and that c created the feedback, right? Since I turned off all the sound on the laptop that means that there is no more sound coming out of the laptop. The only sound that uh, that the meeting is hearing is through my iPad, okay? So what I do is I use my iPad for doing video and sound, okay? And here, um, technically, the participant, me, that is through the laptop is, I'm not going to be communicating through that, so I'm going to tap mute and stop video, okay? So now you can see it shows my profile picture on uh, in the meeting with this person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to gallery view here. So basically all the people in the meeting will see that there's two Aaron Riedels here. Okay, uh, The one that is on the iPad is the one that has the video going. Oh, and I need to unmute myself on here. Okay, so now I'm unmuted on my iPad. So this is the one I do video with and the other me is the laptop. Okay, so this is the iPad and this is the laptop in the meeting. And then, obviously, it would be filled up with a bunch of students, too. Now, over here, th this is the laptop is where I share my screen with the students. Okay, so this is like the student view because the students use the iPad, and I just happen to be talking through the iPad as well. Okay, so over here, this is how I share stuff um, with the students. And this is the third screen. This is what I use to share everything um, with the students. Okay, so let me explain. For those of you who don't know what a dual monitor is, a dual monitor is is basically just an extension of this screen on the laptop. Okay, this monitor is not connected to another computer, it's just connected to this computer. So this computer has two screens uh, with it. Okay, so for example, look, you can see when I go over here, I can drag this window and I can bring it over to here, okay? So I can just drag it, and it's just like an extension, and it goes from this screen over to this screen. 
back and forth, okay? And you can even do like half and half, so there's half of it and there's the other half, okay? So what I do with my Zoom meetings is this screen, everything that's on this screen, I share. So I know that whenever I'm sharing something, if it's on this screen, then the students can see it, okay? So let me give you an example. For example, okay, so now here's the Zoom meeting controls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Share Screen right here and it gives me all these choices and see on my extended screen this monitor right here in the corner it has a little one and on, on this screen it has a little two that means it's talking about screen one and screen two and if you look in the zoom settings for sharing screen there's screen one and screen two so screen one is talking about everything that is on this monitor and screen two is talking about sharing everything that's on this monitor and then there's other options for like certain apps that you want to share so, but what I do is I select screen one because that's this monitor and I click on screen one and I usually click on share computer audio. I usually don't click this, but you can if you want. I don't think it really has made a difference for my videos that I share. So then I click share and then so now it looks a little bit different, okay? So now the zoom window over here was, uh, has disappeared and now it just shows my screen for whatever it is that I'm sharing. So usually it's like a slide, a slideshow or something like this one. And as you can see, whatever is on this monitor, it shows up on the student view uh, on the iPad, okay? So for example, if I wanna switch to my website, you can see it switch on both screens. So I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna click on my website right now and you can see, oh, that's what the students see on their iPad. Whatever is on this screen, the students will see. So if I switch it back over to my slides, then it switches back on uh, for whatever I'm sharing to the students as well. Okay, and I can see who's talking in the corner. But if you're like me and you're like, oh, well, I know there's, other, there's multiple students talking and I don't wanna just see one student at a time, that's why I have a, another screen. And um, see all this like empty space right here? This is perfect for uh, viewing the participants and uh, viewing the chat. So what I do is I line up all my windows here so that this is uh, as big as it can be to a certain extent so that it can be right here. And then I have this vertical area right here so that I can put the participants uh, and the chat right there. Okay, so I go over here and I click on participants and then it pops up right there and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and I'm going to drag it over to here and I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to line it up so nicely so that it is right in between that little area right there okay so I'm going to see all the grid view I'm going to see like all my students here and then I'm going to see the participants here and then I'm going to see go into the chat click on the chat and then the chat pops up and then I'm gonna bring the chat over to right below, okay? So the chat is gonna go right here. I'm gonna line it up so that it is lined up nicely, like that, okay? So I have gallery view, participants, and chat, okay? The nice thing about seeing the participants here is that if I don't know who said something, then I can look right here and I can see like the little microphone See the little microphone thing moving right there? I know who just spoke. So if somebody said in something inappropriate, then I look right here really quickly and I know who it was that just spoke or who it was that unmuted themselves. Um, even though sometimes it's not easy to see in a class full of students who just spoke, okay? So I have like all my bases covered right here. So maybe for example here, I have on this window for Chrome, I have like my emails or my messages to other teachers or my, my roster for my class or something. Um, so this is the stuff that I don't want my students to see and then this monitor is for everything that I do want my students to see just to make it very clear to me. Um, and like let's say that I have a window that I want, that I have over here, that I want over here and you can see, I'm gonna bring back the camera and you can see I'm gonna drag it from here and I'm gonna drag it to the right and then it moves over to there and then the students can see me moving it over and then let's say like I put it up into that 
Chrome browser and then the students can see whatever it is that I just brought from here over to there, okay? Okay, so that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to say other than this is completely on this screen whatever I want the students to see. So I never put emails on this screen. I never put messages to other students or other staff members. That's only ever here. So like if I go here, um, normally I just want to see whoever's in the uh, meeting, in the Zoom meeting, but if I go over here, you can see there's a different window, Chrome window. This is just a, a YouTube video, which I'm also going to uh, share with you guys because this is a really helpful video about uh, Zoom dual monitors. This guy, he's a professor and he gives lots of good tips about how to set up your dual monitors for, um, for Zoom uh, in the settings and stuff, so I'm not going to go into that. But see how I have a bunch of tabs up at the top here. Those are all like my emails and my rosters and my gradebook and everything that I don't want students to see up there. Okay, And then everything over here on this, all these tabs are open are the stuff that I do want students to see. Like, for example, one that I always show my students is this tab, which is the schedule. So the, if the student doesn't have the schedule with them or handy, then I always bring this up before the end of the class, and I say, okay, where are you guys going next? And so they see it on their screen, uh, so they know that which class they're going to next, okay, which Zoom meeting they have to attend. Um, I think that's it. Okay, how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to look at this camera and which will look like it's looking at you from this side. Okay, so I'm going to look at the camera right now and I say, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, everybody. Let me know if you have questions. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Okay, bye.